So now we will give an introduction to deadlocks. The deadlocks is going to be the, uh, the next chapter. Uh, today I will just give an introduction. And next time we will, uh, we will study more details. Okay. So, introduction to deadlocks. Well, in fact, the deadlock is not a new concept to us at this point. So we already know what a deadlock is. So who can define, who can give us a definition of a deadlock? How would you define a deadlock? So we introduced this concept in earlier lectures. Yes? I think when two processes are waiting on each other. Okay, so this is a, uh, this is a, yeah, this is a good definition, but this is a, this is not general enough. So when two processes are waiting for each other, that's a deadlock. But this is not general enough because the number of processes waiting for each other doesn't have to be two. It can be three or four or more. So it's two or more processes waiting for each other. And why are they waiting for each other? A process is waiting for another process because that process has some resource that this process needs. So, okay. so the simplest form of a deadlock, I have P1 and P2. P1 has a certain resource that P2 needs, and P2 has a certain resource that P1 needs. So P1 is waiting for P2 to release that resource, but P2 is also waiting for P1 to release the resource, another resource. So P1, let's say, has resource R1. So resource R1 is held by P1. But P1 also needs resource R2 that is held by P2. But P2 needs R1 that is held by P1. So P1 is holding R1 and waiting for resource R2 that is held by P2. And P2 is holding R2 and is waiting for resource R1 that is held by P1. Now, the number of processes doesn't have to be two. So you can have something like this. P1 is waiting for P2, and P2 is waiting for P3. Because they are holding certain resources, P3 is waiting for P4, and P4 is waiting for P5. And P5 is waiting for P1. Now, if we have something like this, then we have five processes waiting for each other. And when we say waiting for each other, we don't mean that you know, each process is waiting for every other process. No. It's uh, every process in this dependence chain is waiting for uh, some other process in the same chain. So for example, uh, you know, P1 is waiting for P2. Uh, so P1 is waiting for P2, and P2 is waiting for P3. So P1 is indirectly waiting for P3. And P3 is waiting for P4, so P1 is also indirectly waiting for P4. And P5 is waiting for P1. So because P5 is, is waiting for P1 and P1 is waiting for all of these, so each process is directly or indirectly waiting for all other processes in this example. Right? So even though P1 is directly waiting only for P2, but it's indirectly waiting for P3 and P4 and P5. And P5 is directly waiting for P1, but it's indirectly waiting for P2, P3, and P4. So this is a deadlock. Now, if we delete this dependence, well, we have a deadlock. No, we will not have a deadlock. Uh, we, will have, we will not have a deadlock if we have just a, a linear waiting chain. So no matter how long the chain is, this is not going to be a deadlock. 
it will just be a long wait. So long waiting is not a deadlock. A deadlock is infinite waiting. So why not? Why isn't this a deadlock? Because P1 is waiting for P2 because P2 has a certain resource. But P2 is currently waiting. It's not making progress because it's waiting for P3 that has a resource that P2 needs. And P3 is waiting for P4. And P4 is waiting for P5. But eventually, because P5 is not waiting for any other process, eventually P5 will be done with the resource that it has. So it will make progress and it will release the resource. And when it releases it, P4 now can make progress, and it will eventually release the resource that it has. And when it releases the resource that it has that P3 is waiting for, P3 will make progress, and it will release the resource that it has. So uh, in this order, all of them will eventually make progress. They may wait for a long time, but waiting for a finite long time is not a deadlock. A deadlock is waiting for an infinite time. Well, but waiting infinitely. That's a deadlock. If P5 isn't making progress due to, let's say, bad implementation, would that be a deadlock then? Because whatever resources in question might never be free. Uh, no, that's, uh, uh, you know, that's another kind of problem. So it's, uh, uh, it's, it's, you know, strictly speaking, it's not a deadlock. So if, uh, if P5 is not making progress, um, you know, if for because P5 is buggy, uh, then that's another problem. But it's uh, it's not a deadlock that involves uh, you know these uh, uh, these processes, and it's uh, yeah. So here, if P5 is holding a resource and it's not uh, it's not releasing these resources, uh, this resource, then all of these processes are uh, are waiting. Uh, but it's not, it's not a deadlock. What do you call that? Just buggy code? Well, it, what you are implying is that P5 has an infinite loop. Right, so P5 is in an infinite loop because it's, see, if, it's, if it has a problem, but it crashes, that's not a big deal because when it crashes, the, it's gonna release the resources and the system is gonna re re retrieve the resources. So if P5 is just buggy and crashes, that's not going to cause a deadlock. But if P5 is in an infinite loop, then uh, the problem is an infinite loop in P5, right? So it's not a, uh, it's not it's not a deadlock in the sense that multiple that uh, different processes are waiting for each other. Okay, so the deadlock is not the only kind of problem that you can have. So there are other kinds of uh, problems. Okay. Um, all right. So in this uh, chapter, we will be uh, our analysis will be abstract in the sense that we will assume that a process will use certain resources that we will call R1, R2 through Rm, and. Uh, these resources, of course, can be CPU cycles, memory space, uh, I/O devices, semaphores, etc. And of each resource, there is a certain number of instances. So there, there are uh, each resource has a certain number of instances. That is not necessarily one. And processes request resources, use resources, and release resources. 